there. Well, jeepers, I don't know. Oh, hi, everybody. I'm Jackson. Welcome to Crazy Quilt. Have you seen my nightcap? I thought I left it around here somewhere, but I can't find it. Boy, I know. I bet Maggie took it. She was talking about washing it. That must be it. She took my nightcap and she didn't even ask me. Boy, can you imagine? Well, Hi, everybody. It's... I'm Maggie. Hi, Jackson. Hmm. Jackson, what's the matter? You don't seem very happy well, to see I'm me. Well, I'm not. I want to take a nap, and you took my nightcap. You didn't even ask me. Jackson, is that your blue nightcap with the moons and stars on it? Yeah, you know the one. Mm, the one with the tassel? Like this? The, the, ta the tassel. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was it. That I'm wearing it. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Maggie. I, I didn't realize I had it on. I, I thought you took my nightcap. Ugh, I'm so silly. Oh, <laughs> Jackson, I, don't worry. <laughs> we all make silly mistakes sometimes. Yeah, I know. I mean, <laughs> I, I even know a story about a dragonfly that heard a strange noise and made a very silly mistake. A dragonfly? Huh? We've never made a dragonfly. Let's make one today and tell the story. Good idea. Dragonflies, they kind of remind me of fancy aeroplanes. It's <laughs> true, because sometimes they travel really, really, really fast. Yeah, zoom, they can, zoom, zoom. That's right. They can fly as fast as a car goes on a highway. They can't. And they can. And really? sometimes they can just hang in the air and not move at all. Yes, I can do that, but uh, not in the air. No. And they can do that because they've got special wings. And right. we're going to make these wings out of some Bristol board, some nice stiff cardboard. And I'm taking a pair of scissors. But Are you going to cut with the scissors? Not yet. I'm going to trace around, around the outside of the handles. You're tracing the scissors? That's right, because they're the pattern of the wings. And I'm also tracing on the inside of the handles. You're even doing the handles? That's right. Now, I'm going to turn it over. See, I've got the first half done. Yeah. I'm going to turn it over. The small part of the handle is opposite the small part that I traced. The and I'm going to do it again. The small part is opposite the small That's part. Right. So you got So the, the two, two small parts are on the same side. Oh, and then and then that means the handles are sticking out. That's right. And now I've joined it together. And there's my picture of two scissors. Two scissors. And now I use my scissors and I cut all the way around. I guess if you had three scissors, um, would that make it any easier? <laughs> I don't know. It's an interesting mm -hmm. idea. I guess then you'd, they'd fall down when you picked it up. You know, mm. I really like the idea of tracing. It's a fun thing to do to look at different things in the house and trace, oh, I don't know, pots and pans and cookie cutters. Yeah, and I, I tried to trace the couch once. But, um, <laughs> you must have had a really big piece of paper. No, that was the problem. Oh, that could be it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, dragonflies' wings are very beautiful, not only because of their shape, but because of the way they glimmer and glisten. Yeah. It's like the sunlight is bouncing off of them. Yeah, or like, like, uh, like cosmic rays from aliens are coming in and going pazing, pazing, wow. pazing right off them. Now, there's Something the basic like shape of it, but a way to make that sense of the light coming through, I'm going to cut down through where I traced around the outside, and I'm going to trace the inside. Oh, oh, but Maggie, inside. You, you cut right through there. That's right, but it's not a problem because I'm going to be gluing something in a minute that'll put those back together. You know, it kind of looks like a, a dog bone too. Yeah, it's that kind of shape, skinny in the middle and a bit fatter on yeah. the end. I don't it, know why dog bones always look like that. <laughs> I guess they don't in real life, but well, you know, no, in but cartoons. Maybe, yeah, maybe cartoon dogs like bones like that. Yeah, I guess cartoon dogs <laughs> would starve in the real world. <laughs> 
it's, it's true. Yeah. Now, dragonflies are also pretty skinny. I mean, you can see these are really big wings, but you'll see the body's pretty little in comparison. And dragonflies are actually sometimes called darning needles, a kind of skinny needle that people use for sewing up socks and that kind of thing. Darning needles. Yeah, because they're <laughs> so skinny and so fast. All right, now, I've cut the holes out. I'm telling you, Maggie, I think you made a mistake there because you cut right through. You know what this is, don't you? That's, um, tissue paper. That's right, and you can see through it a little bit. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to use that for the dragonfly's wings. So I'm just oh. going to cut a bit of tissue paper to fit on. Oh, and Maggie. use some glue and just dot around the outside, the cardboard, and put it on. And I can actually do both pieces at the same time, both holes. And I'll use another piece of tissue paper. I notice you're not using it. very much glue, though, Maggie. Well, I don't need a lot because the tissue paper is so light. Well, is why it... don't you put lots on? Well, I don't think I need to waste the glue. If yeah. it starts to fall out, then I'll, I'll put some more glue on or well, use yeah, some tape to so. hold it. Yeah. But I think this should work okay. I'll just glue that on like that. And I'm just going to dab off that extra glue here. Right, right, right. So that we won't dry with a big oh, glob of glue. Oh, tissue on the tissue. Oh, wow. And there it is. Now I'm going to just trim this extra bit of tissue paper here. So it doesn't look like he's got sort of a great big scarf on or anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, because like dragonflies, I don't think they wear scarves. No, uh, I don't think so, because they really only come out in the summertime. And, you know, I can always hear them when they come out. They make quite a loud sound when they fly. Yeah, they, they kind of sound like a helicopter. Yeah, they do. That's they kind what of I think. Whirr. Whirr. That's right. Mm. Now, we're going to let that dry for a little bit while we make the body. And like I said, the body is pretty skinny. Skinny, I'm going to like use a, that some, needle thing you said. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to roll. This is just like ordinary colored paper. And I'm rolling it around my marker. You could so, use a pencil. Are you going to use the marker for the body? I'm going to pull the marker out and just leave the paper for the body. And oh, yeah, so you get it. to use a marker again. Yep, I'll just shake it out. It'll come right out. See? Oh, yeah. There we go. That was great. Yeah. And then I'm going to squeeze one end shut and put some tape on it. Mm. And now we're ready to add the wings like that. Or maybe we should, no, we'll put them mm, like that, I, I think. Know. I'll just tape that across here. And because it's just cardboard, it can flap a little bit. Right? Mm. And for the ending, Oh, I don't have a pom-pom, do I? A pom-pom? Jackson, can you see if you can find me a pom-pom okay, anywhere okay, down I'll there? Okay, I'll look for a pom-pom okay. somewhere. Let's see now. Is this? Oh, no, that's a here, dust here, bowl. Wait. Oh, there no, we go. here it goes. All oh, right. here's a pom-pom. Yeah, you don't really need it, but it's kind of nice there you for go. the tail. There yeah. we go. I'll just stick it in the open end here. Make sure it shows a little bit. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And there's our dragonfly ready to fly. And now we need to make another nice, small, friendly animal. Nice, small, friendly animal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see now. One mm -hmm. that likes to eat the seeds out of pine cones. One that likes to eat the seeds out of pine mm -hmm. cones? What's that? A, 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 hmm. a um, chipmunk. A chipmunk. Oh, of course, of course, of course. You I see forgot chipmunks, that. right? They sort of look like squirrels. They're very little and they scamper around. I took a pine cone and I glued a piece of cardboard on the bottom because it, it'll be a lot easier to stick on to the body. I'm taking an elastic band and I'm putting it around, but before I let it snap shut, I'm putting a big pom-pom. Careful you don't catch your fingers. All right, and another one beside it because those are the little chubby cheeks. You know how chipmunks and squirrels, they like to take some food and then they store it in their cheeks and they run around and find places to eat it or do bury it. Do they really do that? Mm -hmm. They, they really use their, do. Their, their cheeks like a lunch pail? That's right. Oh boy. I'm taking another pipe cleaner and sticking it in here for the nose. And I took two pom poms and I glued some construction paper on for eyes. And they fit right into a part of the pine <laughs> coat. It's a pretty goofy looking chipmunk. That is one wacky chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs> and he needs his ears. So I'm taking a small fuzzy pipe cleaner 
and I'm wrapping it around the top of the pine cone yeah. just once and pulling them out like that for the ears. Wow. Yeah. Now we need the body. And right. the one thing I always notice about chipmunks makes it easy to tell them apart from other animals is their stripes. So I'm using some yellow tape, one down one side yeah. and one on the other side. I'm sure you could think of other ways to make stripes too, couldn't you? Well, y y if you could use paint, I guess. I think that would be a great idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's right. see, what or else could you do? they also have dark stripes near their light stripes. So I've got some dark construction stripes paper. near their light stripes. That's right, so it goes dark, light, dark. Dark, so, light, dark, light. And I'm just going to tape that on there. Like if you were playing with the light switch. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, dark light, dark light. Yeah. And another stripe on the other side. Now chipmunks, they love to live just about anywhere. You see them in the cities. They never mm. seem to be afraid of people. I guess maybe they know that people like them. Yeah, people do like them. But you know, one thing I wondered about chipmunks. What's that? Where do they go in the wintertime? Do they, do they go to some warm place? No, you know what they do? They're very smart. They don't much like the winter, so they just sleep right through it. They sleep right through it? They do. They Boy. just curl up inside a hollow tree, or they might find a nice place underground. Boy, and they that's just curl really up. sleeping in, isn't mm -hmm. it? They Boy. slow their heart. Time to get still. up, guys. It's spring. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I miss Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So we've got our stripes on okay. both sides. And now we need some legs. legs I'm going okay. to take some construction paper and cut out a circle with a foot at the bottom. A foot at the bottom. Right. Well, that's a relief, you know. Yeah, I well, wouldn't want a foot at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Chipmunks are very good climbers. They love to go up trees or they can climb up fences and hop over to your yard without knocking at the gate. Right. Okay. Now we're going to have our chipmunk sitting up. So I'm going to oh, use a I tape see. loop, sticky on both sides, and put that down right there. I'm going to put right at the bottom. And another tight tape loop for the other leg at the other side. I guess you could use glue too, eh? Yep, that yeah. would work well. Yep. Now the arms, I've got a, the same kind of fuzzy pipe cleaner that we had for the ears, but it's a three-piecer, and so it's a, a bit longer. Three-piecer. And I'm just going to tape that on. And of course, Jackson, we could glue that as well right. if we wanted to. And oh, chipmunks, of is. course, have a beautiful tail. Oh, I'll use yeah. a feather. And why don't we use glue for that? Okay, okay. Okay, because that should stick pretty quickly. Because it's so light. And the head, we can put some glue on that and stick it on the top. And this is a chipmunk looking for some nuts. <laughs> Hey, Maggie, why don't we make a beaver now, okay? Oh, great. Beavers are amazing. They're such hard-working animals. Yeah. You know, they, they love to go and chew on trees and knock them down. They're Boy, quite I amazing. think that's kind of weird, don't you? Well, not if you think about it, because beavers hmm. have really, really long teeth, front long teeth. teeth. Here are the teeth. I cut a rectangle and I cut out a little rectangle inside to make the two teeth. So there's three rectangles there. That's right. And now I'm going to tape them in here. If beavers didn't chew, their teeth would keep growing forever. Keep growing forever? That's right. Oh boy, that would be kind of a nuisance. It sure would. Now, I'm going to make the ears by cutting the tip of my paper cone into the shape of a V. Shape of a V up That's there. That's right. And now I'm just going to put a little piece of tape across the top, like that. It looks kind of like two mountains up there, too. <laughs> It does. It's true. <laughs> now our beaver's going to need some eyes, of course. And I've got some pink construction paper with little black dots that I drew on them. Okay. And I'll put some glue on that and stick them on. Now, do you know what beavers do with the trees that they chew? Hmm. Well, I... I uh... No, I don't know. Do they do they bring them to the lumber yard? Uh, no, they don't need to because they're such good builders themselves. Uh -huh. What they do with the trees is that they build a dam. So they cut off part of a river or a lake to cut make it really shallow. 
Oh, so right. they, so they get like a they make the river stop almost. That's right. Now, I just I want to show you. I just cut off a corner of a piece of construction paper to get a triangle for the nose. Oh yeah. yeah. Beavers are one of the very very few animals that I know of that actually change their surroundings, their neighborhoods, to have the kind of place they want. Yeah, you mean like when beavers move in, everybody says, whoa, it's going to get wet but, around here. That's right. I'm yeah. going to put my head of my beaver on top of a juice bottle, like that. Oh, oh, he's yeah. kind of tipping his head. He looks curious. I think uh, I'll put uh, some tape mm -hmm. on him. Hey, beaver, come on. Get <laughs> I thought beavers were hard working, but this guy, boy. Uh, we'll just put a bit of tape to keep his head where it should be. He's so forgetful. He'd leave home without his head if he didn't have it taped on. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Let's tape his feet on, too. Here's yeah, some popsicle sticks. Yeah, so he doesn't sticks. forget them. Right, and I cut the popsicle stick in half and drew some toes on. Oh, yeah. Now, what was I saying? Oh, okay, so they, they cut off, um, they cut down the trees, and yeah, they, they, they build the, 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 the dam things, yeah. to make the water shallow, and then they build their own houses out of all the sort of wood and branches that they can find lying around. Oh, so they kind of live there, right? They underneath. do, and it's a nice safe place because it's underwater. Wow. So nobody can get there. Now here's their an arm, which is just part of a straw, and to make the hand, I'm going to take a short piece of pipe cleaner and fold it in half, right. and then fold one end up and the other end up, so it looks sort of like a letter W, a w or M, right. hmm. and then w stick or M. the corners. It depends in. how you look at it. Exactly. But, uh, yeah. And now it's got a little paw, like that. Yeah. Right. Well, that's nice. Let's tape that on. One on one side, one on the other. Now, when I think about beavers, there's one other thing I always think about. Hmm. One thing that looks just like a beaver and like no other animal. Hmm. It's, Let's see. It's, oh, 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 I know, I know. It's their tail. That's yeah, right. Yeah, it's their tail. Absolutely. Their tail, which is really, really flat, and they use it to help swim and also to make a sound. Here's the outline of the tail. It's really long and fat. It looks like a big tongue, if you ask me. Yes, very much like yeah. that, Jackson. I think that's a, a very true statement. And they, they also have a pretty pattern on it. So I'm going to draw some lines at an angle and then cross it. So it looks sort of like a waffle. Oh, uh, did somebody say waffle? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> like that. And then I'm just going to tape it underneath there. I think I'll use a big tape loop for that. Okay. But you know what, Maggie? What? There's something that's kind of been kind of been worrying me. Well, what's that, Jackson? We make so many animals. How come we never make raccoons? Well, Jackson, you're the raccoon expert. How could we make one? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> I have one started. Ooh. Now here, here is the body and the legs. Excuse me, beaver. Yep. Oh, so you just took some cardboard and cut it into sort of an oval shape. Yeah, and I glued the legs on the inside. I oh. folded it, too, you know. Oh, I see. Yeah. Hey, that's right. And he's standing. Oh, and he's got his backside up a little bit yeah. more than his front side. Yeah, just and, the way you and do. And you notice I, I cut a little slit there? Oh, yeah. What's that for? Well, look over there. Oh, I was wondering what this is. Yeah. It's striped, dark and light. It's your tail, isn't it? That's right, my tail. Oh, and I so, see. You fold it around. Yeah, kind of twist, twist it around. It and twist it and twist it and twist it. And then that little slit there, just put <gasps> it in there. Okay. Hey, yeah, that works yeah. well, Jackson. That's great. But yeah, uh, you could so, use wool too if you want. You okay, know? wool yeah. would be a good idea. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But there's something missing, mm, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like you could really. Go anywhere, no, no, see anything, just a minute. Or, or do what I'm Jackson going loves to, get to do, which is to eat. Styrofoam ball. Styrofoam oh, where is ball. that? Where did I put oh, it? It's right here. Oh, 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 oh there it is. Oh, oh, I thought okay. it was down there. No, 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 it seems to be here. Well, what do I do with that? Just scrunch it onto the front there. Okay. Like, scrunch like it that? right on. All right. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Just go ahead and okay. push. Okay, right. it's scrunched. Okay, now, 
The face isn't finished. Just a minute. No. I've got one. Doesn't other. look much like a raccoon yet, does it? Got something here. Got something for you. <gasps> oh, it's a mask. A mask. I see. It, it's sort of two circles joined together. But right. Jackson, how am I going to stick it on? You're Do you want me to glue use, it? No, no, no. Or... You're going to use some little things I have prepared, oh, madam. Oh, <laughs> some cotton swabs, and you cut off one end. Right. That's right. right. Oh, I can stick it right in. And his little white eyes. Yeah, right. right. But we're not done. Here no, we it's not go. quite finished. It's it's yep. true. He's got a mask and eyes, but what's this? <gasps> oh, it's a muzzle. A muzzle. A pom pom with a cotton swab cut in half, and the tip is painted black. I bet if I stick it right here, is this right, Jackson? That's good. That's oh. good. But I still need a mouth. Here of course. We are. I've never met a raccoon who didn't have a pretty big mouth. I, I mean that in the nicest way, Jackson. I beg your pardon. The nicest way. Oh well, yeah, We're the nicest nice way. I wonder what eating. the nicest way is. Just mm. yeah. and finally. <gasps> Oh, ears! Fuzzy pipe cleaners folded, and I can just poke them in here. Hey, looks like a raccoon. Not as cute as you, but pretty cute. One day, a little dragonfly named Herman was resting by the river. Now, Herman was a lazy dragonfly, and he didn't like to do much of anything except lie by the river and close his eyes. Isn't this perfect? Nothing could go wrong today. I'll just lie here and rest. While Herman was lying there and resting, an acorn fell from a tree and landed beside him. Blop. Hey, what was that? I, I thought I heard a loud crash. Blop. Oh no, something fell. I heard a plop. I've never heard anything go plop before. I wonder what it is. Hmm, hmm, I don't see anything. Hey, the clouds have moved. The sky has changed. Did a piece of sky fall down and go plop? Oh, no, oh, no. The sky is falling. Help, help. I've got to get out of here before it falls on me. I've got to, I've got to hide. So Herman flew off to the forest to hide. He found a small burrow under a tree, and he was just about to go in it. Hey, what do you think you're doing? This is my burrow. Hey, you've got to hide. You've got to run. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. The sky is falling? Yeah, I was down by the river and I heard a loud plop. Uh, I've heard ch -ch 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 from the squirrels and creak from the tree branches, but I've never heard plop. I've never heard plop before either. It, it must be from the sky. We've got to hide. No, we've got to warn the others first. Come on! So the chipmunk and Herman the dragonfly ran off to warn the others, yelling, the sky! The sky is falling. Oh, no, oh, no, no. What's all the commotion? Uh, uh, I'm trying to build a house here. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Uh, the, uh, the, it is? Yeah, yeah. Herman here heard a loud, thundering noise. A noise that only the sky could make. Uh, no, uh, you did? I, I did. I heard a loud plop. Oh, plop. I've never heard plop. I've heard uh, splish splash from the water and, and scrunch scrunch from the leaves. I've heard ch 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 and creak. Oh, I, I've never, never heard, heard plop. plop. It, it's from the sky. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Uh, the, the sky is falling. Beaver and Chipmunk and Herman the Dragonfly were so scared they all ran through the woods yelling, The sky is falling. The sky uh, the, the sky is falling. Hey, what's all that noise? Uh, don't you folks know that I like to sleep during the day? Can't you be quiet? The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Uh, the, the, the sky is falling. It is. It looks fine from here. I heard it. It went plop. Plop? I I heard a wish wish from the wind and caw caw from the birds, but I've never heard plop. Well, uh, I've heard uh, splish splash and uh, scrunch scrunch, but I've never heard uh, uh, plop. Well, I've heard ch 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 and creak, but I've never heard plop. It must be coming from the sky. Well, I spend a lot of time up in the tree in the sky, and I've never heard the sky go 
Plop. Where did this sound come from, Herman? Oh, 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 it, it was down by the river. Come on, come on, I'll show you. Uh, but I, I don't think any sky will be left. So the raccoon, the beaver, the chipmunk, and Herman the dragonfly all went back down to the edge of the river. Well, the, the river is still here. Oh, and the trees are still here. And the sky is still here. I don't hear anything. Oh, I don't hear a uh, splish splash and a uh, uh, scrunch scrunch. <laughs> and I don't hear chit 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 creak. And I don't hear wish wish and ca ca. Just then, a small acorn fell from a tree right in front of them. Plop. Uh, uh, plop. Oh no! I guess it wasn't the sky after all. Now, I wish I could say that Herman was never a lazy dragonfly again, but he still liked to spend all day just lying by the river doing nothing. But now, he did nothing with his eyes open. Maggie, I've heard a story like that before, but, but it wasn't a dragonfly who made a silly mistake. It was a chicken called Henny Penny. Hey, I get it. Everyone makes silly mistakes. That's right. And, and, you know, there are lots of ways of telling any story. I could have a dragonfly or a chicken or, or any animal you like. So I could make up my own story with my own animals? Sure, and so could you. Oh, I'm going to make up a new story. But first, I have to check something. Um, bye. But, Jackson, where are you going? Oh, I, 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 I'm going to check t to make sure my nightcap is back on my bed. Oh. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye. See you soon. Jackson, do you need any help? Oh, no, I think I can find it. We made the acorn by taking a walnut and cutting out a circle of felt, putting a hole through it, and putting a piece of pipe cleaner on and gluing them together. But there's lots of ways you can use different things you find in nature. Here's another way to use a pine cone. We made an ostrich. All I did was twist a pipe cleaner around for the legs, glue in a feather for his tail, and use some plasticine for the front of the body. There's a long neck made out of a pipe cleaner, and a pom-pom, two little pom-poms with construction paper for eyes, and a beak made out of two pieces of paper rolled up into cones. Oh, in the, Maggie. It looks really good in the window with a breeze blowing on it. Yeah, that's really cute.